I don't want to be skinny because skinny isn't always healthy. And I know a lot of people are telling me, you know, therapy will help you, but therapy doesn't help everyone, but I'm going to give it a shot. I want to see a nutritionist, even though I feel like everything they're going to tell me is stuff I already know. It's just like, I was talking to Eric and Ricky and Becky today while we were out to eat, and I was like, I know all this knowledge, I just don't put it into action. I know there's like controversy, like, oh my god, diet soda is like the worst. Like, and then there's some people who's like, no, regular soda is the worst. And like, people are so back and forth. I know all this knowledge, I just don't put it into action. In my opinion, when I lost 89 pounds, I don't mean to bring this up because I know it's in the past, but I drank diet soda on the daily. I actually drank like six a day and there were always different flavors and kinds and it never made me gain weight. Well, I can help you count calories. It's, it's really not as hard as people make it seem. I think it's just because I've been doing it for so long. That's my thing. Because I remember when I first started years and years and years ago, it was definitely confusing, but it's just like like learning how to ride a bike. <laughs> it eventually just comes natural. I know all this knowledge. I just don't put it into action. I know it sounds like, oh my god, why are we like listening to a 500 pound girl talk about this like she knows what she's talking about. Unfortunately, I do. Something I don't do is I never eat the calories I've burnt. I like to celebrate the calories I've burnt, but I'll never eat them back because I feel like it was pointless that I even burnt them to begin with if I sit there and eat the calories that I just burnt from walking or dancing or something. I have been drinking tons of water, pretty much a gallon of water every single day, and then I binge on top of it. I'm, I eat a whole family size bag of chips almost daily. Like, just the mixture of things is just a fluctuation, but I'm okay with that because I'm still down 2.8 pounds in three days. Um, I'm okay with that. Like, that's totally fine. A pet on. That's a lie. When I go on my period, I blow a lot more, which I know a lot of girls understand that. And it does mess up the scale a lot. And it frustrates me because it makes me want to feel discouraged. But I have to keep reminding myself that, you know, Period weight isn't true weight. It's obvious. I mean, if you're a girl, it's obvious, you know. Can you imagine us both weighing the same weight? I, I don't want to be. I will tell you this. Can you imagine that? No. I <laughs> mean, neither. I can tell you this. I don't want to be a stick. I don't want to be skinny. No, I don't like that. Skinny. I don't and I will tell skinny. you why. Yeah, sometimes you can be healthy. Sometimes it's very unhealthy to be skinny. I dated a... I had a girlfriend one time that I just did not like how much taller she was than me and <laughs> she was really tall baby what we're talking about her weight yeah no okay she was really skinny and really tall so i had to look up and whenever we would hug it was like <laughs> which i don't know why she was with me because you know i was not much smaller than i am you're now beautiful and you're cute and your personality's on and popping listen i don't want to be skinny because skinny isn't always healthy you know people always assume just because you're skinny, it means you're healthy. No, don't worry. No. Really. I just, I, I like thick. I like chunky. I just don't want to be morbidly obese and right. I mean, even if I was morbidly obese, like, a little bit. Hey, I'm a mukbang channel and I've gained 125 pounds. <laughs> Sorry, I was thirsty.